But for most French fashion, it's not really over the top. French women are known for that je ne sais quoi, that indefinable, elusive quality that some would say is effortless beauty. The French girl is a popular style here in the United States, classic style, simple elegance, but how do you pull it off? That's why we have stylist Darcy Camden here, plus style fashion writer Lisa Cole, who's just back from Paris herself. So uh, let's raise our Bonjour. 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 Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Enchanté. Um, I have to say, oh, by the way, we, we also have some croissant. And We're some, doing it. We're getting into we, we it. We've got all yeah. the things. This is beautiful. How was France? It was lovely. I went in January where it was cold, mm -hmm. and then I went again in March for a birthday trip, and it was so beautiful. I want to go to Paris France. in springtime. Oh, oh, no. Let's go. I have actually never been to Paris. Um, I'm going to hopefully remedy that, remedy that this year, um, but we'll see. And so before I go, I need some great advice about what to wear because I can't. You know, I don't want to show up being like, oh, there's the American ringard over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, what, what is the most important thing when it comes to trends in France, Lisa? Well, I think they do a really great job of being super chic, but also being really comfortable. Mm -hmm. So um, they're not going to, you know, wander around in the super tall shoes. They're probably going to have a pair of great sneakers on, or flats, or great boots. And um, they just—they've been doing this oversized style that I'm just in love with. And they've been kind of doing that for a little bit now. Yes. And it's fabulous. So you have some fashion trends coming up in a minute, but Darcy, what do you think the biggest difference is between French fashion and American fashion? Is it my ridiculous sweater? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well obviously this is a big generalization, but okay. I think Americans do a great job with like athleisure and sweatpants and leggings and yeah, hoodies. Yeah, we that. But <laughs> we also have, you know, maybe a nice suit or a cocktail dress, and there's just not as much kind of of that in between. Yes. And I think the French do a very inspiring job of sort of putting something fancy with something casual and just dressing in real clothes every day. And making it look fabulous. Okay, so let's let's get and started. And that's what we're gonna show. Let's make us look fabulous in French for Liz Chic. So we've got one model, we've got three, three styles. The mm -hmm. first model is casual chic. Okay. This is the oversize that Lisa was talking about. Mm -hmm. And quintessential French girl walking down the street. They're doing a bomber or a jacket, but it's cropped, but it's still oversized. But it still has shape to it, even though the silhouette is larger. Mm -hmm. They love New York th on things. So a lot of New York baseball caps everywhere. Oh, really? And then the Viha sneakers go with the wide leg pants, and that way you can look chic while you're zooming around the city, and just but you're be, comfortable. Yeah. And those sneakers, Lisa said there was a line out the door every time she walked by the the Veja store. Oh, really? V-E-J-A. And lucky for us, we can get them very easily here in America. Right. But it's the oversize with oversize, and I think the French don't get so hung up on rules. Like, here right. we get so shackled by like, oh, can I wear a, a wide leg trouser with a dramatically oversized blazer I would and it's wonder like, the same. Yes, you absolutely can. Wear what you like. That's you what like. that je ne sais quoi. I like that. Wear what you like and wear you know what feels good on you. Yeah. I may not feel good in that outfit, but I could probably make it to something I do. Oversize is very comfortable. So a lot of us can get behind if comfort is your most important thing. Yes. You're in sneakers, you're in comfy wide pants, like you're comfortable. Okay. But you look chic. I but love you're, it. You're Thank doing you. it. Thank you so much. Too. Yeah, hands it's free. It's free. It's okay, uh, exploring the city. Okay. So that seems like an important thing to do when you're, you know, out and about looking for something to eat and oh, love this look. Scarf. Yes, always a scarf, no matter what they're wearing. So she's got the Converse sneakers, which are also a huge French style, and then a, a wide leg pant, and then the really oversized blazer, which is paired with just a, a shirt, a mm -hmm. t-shirt. So never leave the house without a scarf. I think accessories are so key, mm -hmm. and I want to point out her crossbody bag, the bag that we saw in the previous outfit, and then, you know, all our bags today are from Claire V, Claire oh. Vivier. I mean, honestly, you can't talk about French girl style without talking about Claire V. That is the place to go to get the crossbody bags. Great for walking around, and also, honestly, great for travel, because yeah. it's secure. You wear it close to your body. Mm -hmm. You can either layer like another jacket over it, and if you've got all of your important, your money, your phone, your passport in there, yeah, yeah. it's secure. Ah, okay, that's yeah. actually really, really key. You know, and I also often wondered, I ran by my scarves the other day, and I saw them, and I thought, scarves? 
out of style. No. I was very no, delighted. Lisa has one on, it's an Hermé scarf too. It's American in Paris. Um, it's a, con a tribute to Gene Kelly. Okay, so yeah. this is the, the, the style. We're rocking the scarves. So, so that's like a, tr that's like a, I don't know, like a truism or something of, of a cliche of French style that is actually true. Yes. That scarves, scarves. Scarves everywhere. Well, you look lovely. Thank you so much, my dear. All right. So coming up next, everyone has to go out to dinner, right? Mm -hmm. How do we go out to dinner looking effortlessly chic? Okay, well, what's the key piece? Well, the key piece is that skirt. I saw a lot of pleats. Oh, I love this skirt. And then you got the pop of color western boot and western boots were all over France. Ooh. They were in every store, the big stores, the little shops and then that really crisp white blazer is mm -hmm. just super fresh and then the scarf, you gotta have the scarf. That just adds that something something. I love that. Where did, um, where do you get the idea to mix like the teal and the gold? I mean, I, I would feel like I would look at that in my closet and not be able to mix those things together. They're but what not your... matchy matchy over there. Okay. They mix it around and it always works. And this is Lisa's actual skirt that she took to Paris. Oh, you did? And so she wore it, you can wear it with heels, you can wear it with cowboy boots. She also told me that she wore it with sneakers for like a day of sightseeing at the museum. And this is what Ooh. I think the French do very, very well. Take something elevated and then they take something casual or they pair two things together that they've had for a long time mm -hmm. and wear them in a new way. It's not always about getting something new to just wear a new combination. And I know that they there are so many women who have a pair of cowboy boots hanging out in the back of their closet yep, yep. and they haven't worn them in a long time. Good news ladies, like bring those to the front of the closet, wear them with trousers, wear them with long skirts, wear them with, you know, I don't know. I wear my boots shorts with everything. and a blazer, oh, yeah. like Thursday have fun with were talking with yesterday that all three of these outfits could be packed for Paris mm -hmm. and mixed around and worn multiple ways. Absolutely. Well, all, everything that we showed today also like goes, there's more your outfit in capsule there. that mm -hmm. you could just take to Paris. I love that. Where did you get that gold? Um, the Frankie shop. I have it in silver too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but well, I dug out some pleated skirts that I haven't worn and I really feel like an outfit like this works in Paris, but it works very, very well in Seattle in springtime. Totally. Yeah. It's kind of warm, it's but it's seasonal. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, it's like the sisterhood of the traveling skirt. Yeah. Like that fits everybody. I can't wait to see more of this. Thank you ladies so much. I'm feeling ready to oh, yeah, go to Wega France. I know, it's fun to go there like in real life, but also fun to imagine. And fun to yeah. just embody style and have fun with it. And so cheers inspired. to you and cheers to your style cheers. as well, whatever it may be. Well.